The part of goal kicking I want to talk to you about today is what I like to call your pillar. Now, what I mean by the pillar is the opposite arm to your kicking leg. So if you're a right footed kicker, it's your left arm. Now, if when I strike the ball, my pillar is strong, it's going to help stop me from over rotating round to the left. But if I've got a weak pillar, my body is going to follow and I'm more likely to create a hook with my kick. Now, the body has a contralateral relationship between the arms and the legs. So as my right leg swings back, my left arm comes up as well. And then they both snap into action to create the power in my hip and to create the power in the kick. So the bigger and stronger my pillar is, the more power I'm going to be able to generate with that kick. George Ford is someone that comes to mind that has a really tall, strong pillar. That helps prevent him from over-rotating and direct his body shift towards the target. Now, another reason to put emphasis on having that tall, strong pillar is that's going to help you keep an upright posture. And having an upright posture is going to give you more range of motion at the hip to create more power with your kicks. As opposed to being crouched down, you become very restricted. I like to coach players to have a taller pillar because I think that most replicates your kicking leg on a J swing towards the target. as opposed to a more horizontal pillar, which is probably going to replicate more of a C-swing and increase the chance of you over-rotating to the left. Listen to Gloucester Rugby Scrum half Charlie Chapman talk about it in relation to his box kicking. My last point is to strike the ball and keep my left arm strong to stop me from over-rotating. Record some of your kicks, watch them back, send me some clips and have a little think about how tall and strong your pillar is.